I'm Lisa Holt, uh, Managing Director of Careers Register, which is part of the CPL group. What I feel really, really strongly about is the six or seven things that we can do to survive this and come out the other end. The whole piece around business optimization, so really ensuring that your business is absolutely like offering all its top service to the top clients at all times during this time because it's now the quality is going to shine through. What will happen is, particularly for recruitment companies, there's going to be loads of them closing down. So I'm really hoping that we can use this time to secure our market share. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about customer customising. So each customer comes to us, i.e. like Richard, he wants a particular service. We, we, we'd fine tune our offering to make sure Richard is happy with our service and then therefore when he's signing that big fat check it doesn't hurt so much because he feels that he's gotten good value for money. Um, consolidation, performance management, accountability. I think that word accountability is underused and it is so important. Every single person who has a job to do for you, they need to be taking accountability, they need to be coming back to you, and they need to be saying, it's done, it's not done, it will be done when. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the human side of recruitment. I think it's underestimated what we can do for a company, and I, this is not about me standing up and telling you to come to us if you need somebody. I understand costs are an issue. I know we're very good at what we do, but this is more about really me trying to share some of the tips that will help you when you're hiring and making sure you're not making decisions that could cost you your business in the long term. Human capital and the value of human capital. Um, motivation. That word motivation, again, I actually believe that if everybody is going to empower and motivate their staff through this next year, you'll come out with better staff, better solutions and better cost management and better fees coming in the door. If you have young people working for you who are easily distracted, try and look at how you can make them less distracted. Because people, you know, when the cat's away, the mice will play. That's life. We have to look at the positive things. You know, the secret to success, in my mind, is the strong relationships, building them, taking no shortcuts. Shortcuts drive me mad. Even the little things, like who, if you have people working for you, do you see what way they send out emails? Do you actually see the writing, the punctuation? Do you see... You know, like for me, it drives me mad when people... Do you ever see that people leave a gap and then a full stop? Like, it looks awful. If you do not relate to your boss and cannot be yourself with your boss, you won't survive this. So I would say to anyone who's actually out there working, be it your sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, yourselves, whatever, if you don't have a good relationship with your boss, just think about some way of getting, moving yourself so you can actually work with someone who you can relate to. In these times, we need to be able to go to somebody and go, God, this is awful. You know, or something really good happened today. You know, someone who you feel you can talk to, be it barter with, bargain with, row with, have a drink with, laugh with. You know, you just have to be able to relate to people. Basically, in my mind, if you're not attracting and retaining the best people in this market, you're going to be in trouble. Now, you see, I have absolutely no idea. You could be one person owning a business and all you have is yourself, okay? That's all very well. So you've only got yourself to worry about, yourself to motivate. And naturally, you're going to be very motivated. But if there's a group of people working for you, the beauty, I suppose, of using a recruiter is all of those, are, it's our job to assess the judge of character that we're putting forward to you. It's our job to be persuasive and have excellent closing skills and be able to advise confidently and articulately. Why I put there willing to change your mind is because when I started in recruitment, I used to go into the interview and I'd go, and I'm sure you all interview, do you? Would most of you interview? And I'd go, God, I don't like this person. I'm not, really don't think I can help this person. Give it 15, 20 minutes before you close your mind on it because many times people have turned me around. Something small they may say that may, you may think, God, you know, I like that. And then you work harder with the person. And then I, it's our job then to get the person really primed to do the interview. More than any other way by failure <coughs> to put the right people in the right jobs, that's why companies fail to succeed. And the last point is really key, the related failure to fix people problems in time. I cannot emphasise to you the danger of a bad egg in a team. It is absolutely destructive. It's worse than a bomb in the latest James Bond movie. I suppose really this is nothing new to you. Uh, many businesses don't focus on recruitment as a, and hiring the right people as a core competency. That whole piece of succession planning is very, very key. Retention is key. Attracting people with critical skills, attracting people with international experience, managing out performers. I could talk about each of those points for half an hour each. Um, I'll just pick 
say for instance uh, the international experience it's quite challenging actually motivation piece like it's fi- quite interesting they'd often say to me work god lisa you should do that more often and it's funny it's so basic really motivation i'm not expecting people to come into the office and work from nine to seven but i am expecting them to work their asses off when they do come in optimum performance minimizing personal emails minimizing personal phone calls staying off the internet love what you do or don't do it firm believer in that if you don't love what you're doing get the heck out of it life's far too short of course what gets you noticed are the simple things yes i'll do it no problem the follow through and what gets you into trouble would be the obvious ones well the most obvious one to me would be gossip why work hard because it's rewarding it's financially rewarding it's emotionally rewarding and then my last point would be the boss quality i can't say enough about that Keeping everything simple, keeping your communication simple and open. Saying to yourself, look, you could be doing this better, and this is how. It's actually very simple. So that's really it. If anyone's any questions, I'd like to ask. Mm